Welcome back. Okay, so this series is going to be called uh, Seasonal Depression. What, uh, what, what, where'd, where'd that go? Seasonal Depression, where'd that go? Yeah, so basically this is just going to be a follow-up to a long time ago. I say that like it was years ago. It was just like a couple months ago. I made a video about seasonal depression while it was happening. And I always wanted to make like a part two about a follow-up about how I'm doing now. That it's summer and it's nice. Um, and how it was in the winter and looking back on it. And I meant to do it like in the spring, but I got super busy. So we're going to do it now. And uh, the short answer is seasonal depression sucks. Summer is so much better than winter. I am very, very, very happy right now because it is nice. And when winter comes again, I will be leaving this state. That's my short answer. Let's take a walk. So a while back, I saw a post that had said... Uh, something along the lines of you don't really realize how bad your seasonal depression is until it's like nice out and oh my god is that the freaking truth I you know I, I'm prepared for it every year but when it gets to be loud ass truck when it gets to be like spring and it's starting to you're starting to get those 60 55 degrees degree days oh my gosh my mood just goes way up like I'm just in such a better headspace now there's a ton of stuff going on in my life right now some good a lot good some bad um, but just if, if it was winter and there was snow it would be so much worse so let's talk about some things that helped um, so I remember in my last video, I had talked about like some coping stuff, my happy lamp. I got to try that out for a couple months, I believe, maybe like two months, three months. Um, and that did really help. I had it on when I was like working, like editing, and I had it on when I was, um, doing meditation and things like that. And that really helped when I couldn't like get outside and, um, even when I could get outside, I would just turn it on when I was just chilling inside for a little bit. Um, and so that really improved my mood and um, I would recommend that to anybody still. Um, another thing that really helped me was just trying to get out. I hate the cold. I absolutely hate, hate. I had talked about it with my therapist and I was like, hey, what are some things that I can do? And she was just like, I know that you hate the cold, but get outside and do something, really bundle up. And it did really help. So what I would do is I would just bundle up and I would go for a walk. I would make a snowman. I would go drive around. Just being outside really helps me. Like that's why I'm filming outside right now. But just being outside, even if it's cold, uh, pushing through that and just being in the fresh open air um, really does help. So like pushing past that barrier for me really did help. So I thought that was pretty cool. That was something, I mean, like I've done that before, right? But that was more intentional this time. And so that um, was cool, cool to see. And I'll probably do that next winter if I'm not, if I'm not out of here. I know I won't be. I'll still be here. Uh, okay, next thing I did, I had, I tried to have a couple dance parties a week. So just like in my bedroom and I would crank the music and I would have a dance party and just go crazy all by myself because we are still in a pancetta. But it was so much fun and it would really just, uh, what's the word, serotonin, it increased my serotonin, uh, dopamine, I don't know, brain stuff cool stuff, feel good stuff. It would feel so good. And it would kind of alleviate the pressure of not being able to, to go outside and just kind of hang out outside. Um, now, after the fact, it's summer now. It's been summer, it's July. 
Like, I'm out here in shorts. I Yeah, it's so much better. You know what? Here, come with me. Oh, we got different life plans, I know Trying to do what I can, so don't go oh. I just made 25 bands, but that shit don't mean nothing to you I got a lot of the time to invest, I'ma trust it in you Everything changed in my life, now I got some adjusting to do I need some shit from me, I always got something to prove <laughs> Oh no Sorry I had a little episode <laughs> Brand new season with the same old show Oh This is the sound of the bubble Don't look now, if you ever look down and you're bound for the trouble I feel like I'm trying to find a way to fucking drown in a puddle Head underwater but the sound isn't muffled Four showers a day, time to inspire me I'm sorry to the earth, my heart I never meant to use your resources to cope with my existential anxieties so, My bad, making deals now and they all wanna give me five like a white dad Life I'm moving too fast, feeling like a time lapse Feeling like it's 8-bit, looking like it's yeah. IMAX uh, I know I gotta really walk away All the stage here, clothes don't really wanna stay I just wanna make them all happy Okay, so, this I'm filming on my phone Just cause it's easier to walk But, being real for a second, you know I made that seasonal depression video in the the deepest part of the winter and the seasonal depression and uh, the first one and I and I was going through it you know the palladium was a little bit more harsh you know the vaccines weren't out it wasn't looking like there was going to be even close to an end um and so I was I was really going through it and all those things that I had said that really did help Honestly, so that was like a more harsh version of seasonal depression than what usually happens. Um, but yeah, honestly, the month, like the spring, summer, the spring, summer, fall months, I treasure and value so, so deeply just because. I am so much happier when the sun is out, like, it is night and day, and, you know, the quote at the beginning really just sums it up, you know, you don't really realize how bad it is until after, and it's honestly crazy, you know, I value so much just being able to walk outside just in a t-shirt just like this and go for a walk, you know, you, we see people just like outside and enjoying their life and having a good time you know you could go to the lake and just see people going on runs playing with their dogs and it is just so much fun so anyway i just kind of wanted to make a follow-up um i'll i might make like a part three about like how i prepare for when it's coming up um we'll see maybe i'll be out of this Godforsaken state by then, who knows? Probably not. I still got stuff. Oh, whatever. Bye. Yo, my life like a dream. I envision to give y'all a piece of the puzzle. Get in a minute on a mission. Getting cheese and chips. Running something like a team with this. Tell your little suckers, feeling cheap.